Good afternoon. This week, the California Department of Education released its statewide guidance for the safe reopening of California's public schools. In San Bernardino County, our 33 school districts have been working to understand the guidance as they develop reopening plans for the 2021 academic year. During this time, the health and well being of students and staff will be a top priority. In addition, district superintendents met earlier today, along with representatives from the San Bernardino County Department of Public Health to discuss this guidance and respond to questions and concerns. Guidance from the California Department of Education recommends students and staff wear face coverings at school sites, follow social distancing to the extent that is possible, and practice safe hygiene. Our schools are also working on delivery of instructional programs as districts consider the use of traditional learning in the classroom as well as distance learning in a blended hybrid model. Given the needs of social distancing as well as preferences of parents and families, we anticipate districts will be implementing more than one of these models. Now, this will help serve the needs of their local student population in addition to meeting health and safety guidance. As our economy and society move forward and advance through stages of reopening, it's important to remember that our communities still need to take preventative steps to help slow the growth of COVID-19. Nationally, this week, more than 2 million cases of the virus have been diagnosed. As citizens, we need to be steadfast in our preventative measures to support one another our families, and the well-being of our communities. In response to the protests that have taken place worldwide, our county school's office is convening a Watershed Moment webinar on policing, protesting, and perspective, which will be held on June 25th. We are inviting the public to attend this free virtual meeting that will feature educators and law enforcement officials to discuss the impact of the recent protests in our communities. They will discuss how we can join together in a united effort to combat systemic racism and promote equality and justice. As County Superintendent, I remain proud of the efforts made across our communities over these past trying months, particularly among our healthcare workers, first responders, educators, and other essential workers. And although these have been turbulent times in our neighborhoods, as well across our state and nation, the spirit of togetherness and unity for our country and democratic ideals remains strong and resilient. Continue to support one another and our efforts to move forward for the benefit of us all. Be well and be safe. Thank you.